All right, so I was called on today because this whole case of meat, and it's a very, very big case, uh, was running earlier up at 65. They had all this, all this food was hot. They should have pulled it, but they didn't. So I've got it running now. Everything is starting to get back to temperature. So I want to go over what I did on this call and uh, let you guys know what to look for if you come across something like this. So you gotta identify what unit it is. So here we've got MTB-23A. And then so this whole wall is um, 23 because is 23E and then it goes down to 23F right here yeah I'm lucky I was able to get this case working when I did but they should have pulled all this stuff out really so you're gonna go in and the manager told me where the motor room was so here's my torches and motor room's gonna be up here so, circuit 23, and then that is the liquid line. I replaced uh, that solenoid valve right there. There's the old one. It was leaking. When I uh, turned this screw, when I turned this down clockwise all the way down, it fixed it. It started working again. First got here, I took my testing tool, put it on the solenoid, and it opened it, but nothing happened. Yeah, you can. You still hear it, but I guess it got stuck and uh, wasn't working. So, pulled it out, pulled out the solenoid valve coil, replaced it. Right now, so this is the graph uh, for what it was doing. Right now, we're at. 34, earlier it was up at like 68. So, doing a lot better now. So I put on this, uh, still the wire for now, but I'm gonna do it better. I don't like that. I wanna put uh, some, some of those on it and some solid wire, make it look a little better. So, once I got it diagnosed, to replace it, I have to close this valve down, and that starts to pop the circuit down. You gotta make sure you have that valve energized. Like I said, I uh, had, by turning this all the way down, it opened it, it's a manual, manual stem, that's right. So it was working, luckily I had another one on my truck, and I uh, didn't have to go get one. Pumped it down, and uh, this is the same, this is the suction side of the circuit. Pumped it all down, also had to close this valve, which is the suction king valve for that circuit. And uh, so got it all shut down, once it was fully pumped down, I recovered the rest of it. Yeah, I recovered the rest of the pressure, got all the pressure out, and then it was ready to go. So this um, solenoid valve, I was able to take apart. I un unscrewed that backing nut right there, and took all the pieces out. You got to make sure because if you look. upside down but you see how it says in right there you've got to make sure that your flow is going the right way otherwise you have to take it apart and redo it. So 
So before I soldered this in, got everything cut, got the old one pulled out. I had wet rags and I wrapped the body of it. Even though I took all the guts out, I still wrapped the body of it. Call me crazy, whatever. Uh, and then I, after I closed down this, see because this is so close right there to where I was soldering. Before I unsweated the old one off of here, I also wrapped this uh, king belt with white rags. The way I see it, it's just always better to be safe than sorry, so. Then I sweated it in. I believe the fitting um, on the bottom side of the solenoid belt. I think, uh, I think that this one right here on the bottom, I think this is steel. I'm not sure because it looks like copper. Maybe it is, but I started using my 15% silver and it started rolling off. So I had to get the orange coated, uh, yeah, the orange coated rods, whatever they're, whatever they're called. And uh, that's the only way I was able to get it to seal. All right, so I'm gonna redo the wiring on this uh, solar valve coil. So I'm gonna shut off system 23. And well, very carefully, I'm going to uh, unwire these, making sure I don't touch anything with them. Cut that out, take this wire completely out, pull it off the solenoid valve. I'll show you some more here. All right, got it out now. Now I'm gonna switch out the wire with some better wire and put in the, whatever it's called. Imagine my wire, this will work here. All right, so cut my insulation off the ends. Put those uh, spades on there. I'm gonna ground this one since we got the third wire. All right, got this side all ready. Cut the cover on it. All set. We're at 36 degrees because I got that uh, solenoid on there. And I actually turned 23 back on, but turn it back off now. Pull my magnet off the solenoid. And then, see, this is going to start going up as soon as it shuts off. So, going to mount this. Get this crap out of there and put that in. See, look here. It's all. It's barely been like three minutes, and that's uh, that's jumping up because all that food is so hot. It's uh, putting off so much heat. It's gonna take a while for all that food to get cold again. All right, it's all ready to start. Hmm. All right, got the uh, valve back on there with the. Wire in place, right there. System's off right now, turn it back on. Right now we're at 48.32. Watch right here, make sure it starts up. There it goes. coming down here. Go real quick. Yep, there it goes. Look 
looking good. All right, now I'm just gonna pick up all my tools and uh, get this all closed up, and that'll be it. All right, final look in here. Got this little uh, cover right there. The cover goes right on there, and just like that. All right, and we, and we are good, good to go. Get my tools picked up. Looking good. Get everything picked up. And uh, I think that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you put all your um, valve caps back on. Get a couple of those. Use brass ones. Don't use, don't use these ones. These ones aren't really reliable. And always make sure your gasket, or o-ring, whatever you want to call it, is fair and good shape. And of course, always check your welds for leaks. There too. It's good. look nice and just, this is how I leave it leave it nice and clean like nothing ever happened all right it's all back at temperature it's looking good so uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video so I'll keep doing some more videos and hopefully it gets some more get to grow the channel some sorry about the video I'm doing this with my phone or the sound you know so videos will get better as I as I do more hope you got something good out of the video I appreciate you watching and uh, thanks again be safe out there don't work too hard don't get shocked above all be careful later